Welcome back. Um, I'm just having a little think about my model and thinking about how I could use the spaces that my boxes have created. I quite like this idea of this being some kind of access stairway into this top half. And I quite like the idea of, you know, this, these both having different functions, um, almost like separating the, the, my small space into two different functions. So, you know, I've been given in my brief, the brief that I gave you, I asked you to come up with some form of um, eating area, so a kitchen, so some kind of kitchen. I, I also asked for some kind of sleeping area. I was looking for a bathroom and I was wanting to have some kind of seating, so a relaxing kind of living room. So I've got these four things. Now I might then think, well, I can split these into two areas. So I might have my sleeping and my bathroom together and I might have my kitchen and my seating area together like that. So I've got to think, I start to have to think about, you know, how I'm going to use this space. So I have these two different boxes, um, you know, like that. So I've got this one and I have this one underneath like that. So what do I do? How do I divide that up? Now, do I want my sleeping and my bathroom on top or do I want it on the bottom? I think I might try it on the bottom. So I'm going to keep this really, really simple. And I'm just going to start off with my bottom box and I'm going to sketch out a rectangle like that. Now I have to get in and out of that rectangle. Um, and I have to think, you know, if I have this large open area with my deck coming out the side, uh, do I want to be, you know, having to go around like that? So I might think about having some kind of doorway or opening over here. Now I probably have that coming in that way in here. I might have my bed or my sleeping area over here, like so. And I might have my bathroom or shower room over here, like that. Now I'm going to maybe have a wall here. I'm going to put my I think I will have a bath actually. So I might have my bath over here and my toilet over here like that. Now I might want a little bit of privacy. So I'm going to put a little dividing wall. So that's one possible layout. And then I might be thinking, again, these are quick thumbnails. They're not, you know, incredibly well planned out. What if I had my doors at this end? But instead of just having one, what if I had them opening out as kind of double doors out that way? And I put my bed right in the middle of that space like that. And then I use this space over here for the bathroom. So again, I could have this divided off. I might have my bath over here. I might have my toilet down here and I might have my sink over here my little wash basin sink in there like that that's possible now I could have a, the problem with the door is you know what if I had how does that open up could open up that way could open up this way or I might even just put in a sliding door so this door would slide closed over that way and then I might just continue on and configure that again. So again, sketching out uh, another idea. What happens, you know, there's quite a lot of wasted space around this bed, you know, walking around it. So I might be better, it's quite a small area. So what if I went back to having my bed over here and I put my bed over in the corner like that. This could be a big glass wall that doesn't open and I could have my bathroom in that over here. So this time I might not have a bath at all. I might just put a shower in. So I might want to have some kind of shower in there and maybe my toilet here and it's a huge space. Uh, so maybe I'll just put another wall in like that. Maybe have some storage along the back there so some cupboards along the back and have a wash basin in there like that 
to shorten that up a little bit. But remember, this is just this is just about planning. It's not, you know, these aren't final things. So that might be my starting point for my, my bottom um, floor plan, like that. And then let's think about my top. So my top, again, similar shape. Uh, this time I've got, I want to have a kitchen and uh, some kind of seating area. Now, in my model, the biggest thing I've got is probably this spiral staircase eating up a lot of room in my actual space. So what if I had my kitchen maybe running down one length of the wall in here so I could open out onto my deck so I could go out and have my breakfast in the morning so that hinges down and I might in there have my cooker hob and my sink with a drainer and over here I could have some kind of perhaps L-shaped seating uh, like that and maybe some form of small table that'd be one possible but again I have this huge problem over here with all this wasted space now it might be a case of you know maybe that spiral staircase coming up into the actual space there might be an issue I maybe want to think about that as I develop this later on and maybe we'll take that out and maybe make it external so that you don't have to, you know, if I took that away, I could then, you know, if I had this, if you look across at the model for a second, you know, if I had that perhaps as a supporting pillar, you know, I, I have this huge space on top here, which is, you know, a, a lovely space. That's why I have my little figure on there. You know, I could have that, you know, as some kind of doors coming out onto this space and make better use of that space. Maybe a staircase going up in between them uh, might be better than uh, an internal staircase, save some space. But that's again something I can develop later on. So if I look at this again, you know, if at this time I still have my circular, now that's really, it's not going to work. Uh, that's, that's proven to be difficult. So at this point, I'm going to think, well, I quite like this layout here from a downstairs, so this one. So I might go back in and I might firm this up a little bit. Uh, I haven't really thought about windows and doors yet, or you know, so I'm going to firm this up. That's the one I'm thinking about. So I've got my space. Quite like my bed. Quite like my wall. Bath. My toilet. My wash basin door and when I start to develop then I'm going to go back and think about this top again thank you